In this video, we will talk about an, a concept of unrelated numbers that can produce twins. We'll also use advanced patterns and techniques to make this diabolical puzzle pretty easy. As I solve this puzzle, I'll point out the different techniques and patterns used to solve the puzzle. This is puzzle number 93 from Sudoku to Go, volume 139. If you like these videos, please click like and click the red subscribe button. After you subscribe, if you want to, you can click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. All right, I'm going to go find a few easier numbers here. And so one there. This is a right angle pattern right here. And with that 4 there and 4 there, we know that's a 4. Alright. Um, <clears throat> there's a 1 here and a 1 here, so one of these is a 1. I know it's that one, and I'll show you why. I've got a 1 here, so one of these has to be a 1. I've got a 1 here and a 1 here, so one of these has to be a 1. Using double column elimination, that eliminates these two columns, so we know the 1 has to be right there. Because it has to be in one of these three cells. Alright, let's look at this column right here. See what we're missing. 6, 7, 8... Nine. 6, 7, and 8. There's a 6 and a 7 there, so that's an 8. 6 and 8 there, so that's a 7. And that leaves a 6 there. Alright. Now let me show you a uh, set of unrelated numbers that will help us find a set of twins. There's a 7 here and a 7 here, so one of these is a 7. Now if we had a, a 3 in one of these cells right here with that 3, we'd know that's a 3. And this 3 and 7 would be related. We'd have a 3 here and a 7 there and a 3 here and a 7 there. So they'd be related. But we've got an unrelated 3 over here. A 3 there and a 3 there also means that the 3 has to go here. So, therefore, we know these are 3, 7 twins. We also know that the 3 has to go in one of these 3 cells right here. We can't fill it in yet, but we know that. Alright, now let's look at this box right here and see what we can fill in with knowing these are three seven twins. We got a four here and a four here, so we know that's a four. We've got an eight here and an eight here, so we know that's an eight. That can't be an eight right there. So that's an eight. Now we only have two numbers left. Uh, these three sevens we found, and these are two and six, two six twins. With that six, we can fill those in. And we've filled in everything in this box except for the three seven twins. All right. And now we've got a, a couple of related numbers. There's an eight here, eight here, six here, six here. With these six eight pair, this pair of six eights, and this pair of six eights, we know the six and eight have to be in this, in this row right here. And with this six and eight here, we know they're here and here. So we have six eight twins right there. Now with this two and this two, we know the two has to go here, here, or here. That can't be a two because it's a six or an eight. So that constrains the two to this column right here. And if we look at box one, we've got a two here and ghost twos there. So we know that's a two. Now all these techniques and things I'm talking about, like ghost numbers, um, 
right angle pattern, um, twins, uh, and other things I'll be talking about, they're all pretty much all on the website sudokuprimer.com. So if you want to learn more about some of these techniques, go out there. There's a technique section and a pattern section uh, that you can look at. And there's also lots of other Sudoku information out there. All right, so we got a 7 here and a 7 here, so we know that's a 7. And that leaves a 4 and a 9 here, and with this 4 we can fill those in and complete box 1. All right, now, let's see, we've got a 2 here, 2 here, and 2 here. So one of these has to be a 2 in box 5. With this 2 and this 2, we know there are ghost 2s there, so that can't be a 2, so we know the 2 goes right there. All right, now let's see, we've got a 1 here, and ghost 1's there, so 1 ghost ones, and a one and a one there, so that's a one right there. And now let's look at this row seven and see what we're missing. One, two, five, seven. One, two, five, and seven. There's a one, two, and a seven there, so that's a five. Now we're just missing one, two, and seven. Two and seven. 127, 127. So we can't solve the others, but we found that 5. All right. And with this 5 here and this 5, we can also put a 5 there. All right. Now, let's see. We've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so we know that's a 9. Right there, okay. Let's see what we're missing in row one. We're missing two, three, nine. Two, three, and nine. Got a three there and a nine there, so we know that's a two. With that nine, we can put the three and the nine in right there. Okay, let's look at box three now. There's only three numbers missing. Two, four and five. We've got a four there, so we know that's a four. And this is a two and a five. With that two, we can solve those. Right. Now we're missing one, two, and seven in box nine here. With, with the two there, we can put a two there. And with this one, we know that's a seven and that's a one. Now we're only missing 3 and 8 there. Uh, we can't solve those, but that leaves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 5, and 7 there. 1 and 7, that makes that a 5. And we've got a 1 there, so we can put in the 1 and the 7. <coughs> We got a 7 there and a 7 there, so we know that's a 7. And here we've only missed, row 3 is only missing two numbers, 4 and 9. There's a 9 there, so we can finish those. Let's look at row 5 here. What are we missing? Three, six, eight, and nine. Three, six, eight, and nine. Six, eight, or nine. Three, six, or eight. Three, six, eight, nine. So that's a three. So now we're missing six, eight, and nine. Six, eight, nine. Six, eight. Six, nine there. So that's an eight. So now we're only missing 3 and 6, 
or I'm sorry, 6 and 9. And there's a 9 there, so that's a 9 and that's a 6. All right, there's only one number missing there. And got 3, 3, and 3 there. That is an 8. All right, and let's see, we're miss what are we missing here? 4, 6, 8. 4, 6, and 8. There's 4 and an 8 there, so that's a 6. That's a 4, and that's an 8. All right, we're only missing 5 and 6 here, so we can fill those in. What are we missing here? 5 and 9. You can fill those in. Okay. We're missing 2, 3, and 7 in this column. 2 and 3 there, so that's a 7. There's a 2, so that's a 3, and that's a 2. These are our 6, 8 twins we found, and with that 8 we can fill those in. And we got 3 and 7 there, so 7 and 3. And that's it. All right. So there are a few different techniques we used, um, including unrelated numbers to find that set of twins, find the 3, 7 twins. Once we got the 3, 7 twins there, even though we couldn't fill them in, we could finish this box. Then we finished uh, box one here also uh, completely. And that really got us going there. So it made this puzzle pretty easy, even though it's a diabolical puzzle. Well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.